it's Pele here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys this crazy cool looking uh, positive poison effect, Y2K effect. Uh, I don't really know what to call it at this point but uh, I'm going to figure that out in uh, the future when I upload this video and um, yeah I think this was a very very cool effect and this is kind of what I'm aiming for, for with the channel for the moment I'm trying to make as unique as yeah as unique effects uh, as possible and good looking of course in my opinion at the same time that's what I wanted I guess when I was a little bit younger and editing I was like stuck on a project you know didn't know what effect to add and yeah this is kind of the solution I would do for my younger self like having a whole channel with a bunch of different unique styles basically and my goal now is basically for this channel to be a place where you go to I mean obviously learn like new effects stuff like that but also like get new inspiration and like spark your creativity even more I think but yeah I'm just excited to try out some really really unique and new styles uh, and I hope you guys really enjoy it as well and if you guys want to support me and uh, level up your editing I have a website called editingvisuals.com where I have a bunch of editing packs that's going to help you out with your editing so if you guys are interested in that be sure to check it out now let's get into the tutorial so yeah, here I'm in Autofix, I've added some uh, footage here, I'm going to be showcasing the effect on. And we're going to start off by roto brushing our video here. So I'm going to roto brush out uh, this this girl here, uh, from the, I think she was from the New Jeans band. I don't know the name to be honest, uh, just thought it was a cool clip to use for this effect. And uh, mm -hmm. so when you have roto brushed your character out, it's going to look something like this. And I'm going to be duplicating this by pressing Ctrl D. And on the bottom layer, I'm going to be deleting the roto brush effect. And then I'm going to be adding a texture uh, to this effect. And I'm going to be using my Y2K effects pack here. And I'm going to be adding the pink stars here. So just drop that in. Then drag it between these two layers. So we get our roto brush in front of our texture. Then we can change the blending mode here to screen. The stars in the background here. It's going to look something like this, pretty pretty good in my opinion. And you guys of course don't need to use my uh, Y2K effects pack. You guys can uh, like search on Google, star overlay, uh, Pinterest also has some good ones, Adobe, Adobe Stock, there's a bunch of places you guys can find uh, other star uh, overlays uh, in this case. And after that I'm going to be making a adjustment layer, so I'm going to press Ctrl Alt Y. And here I have a adjustment layer, and we're going to start off by making the yeah positive poison effect basically. So I'm going to start off by adding noise here, and I'm going to increase the amount to 25%. I'm going to add curves to this as well, and here is basically where we edit the look of the colors. So I'm going to be dragging this one up here, and then this one down. This look here is going to be kind of a inverted kind of look here, and after that I'm going to be adding quad tone. And if you guys don't have Sapphire, you guys could use CC Toner instead and add a tone effect that way. I think the quad tone is a much better effect, but if you guys don't have the plugin, there is another option for it. So here I'm going to change the color 2 to a yeah, very lime uh, color here. I'm going to drag this one so it's like purely green. So it's going to look something like this here. Then press OK. And then here I'm going to add a kind of blue touch to this. I'm going to go here. I'm going to make this kind of look here. Then press OK. And now I'm going to make this a little bit brighter. So I'm going to be adding a glow. And here I'm going to decrease the glow intensity to 0.2. And then we're going to be duplicating the glow. Increase the radius to 250. And then increase the glow intensity as well to 0.4. And then press Ctrl D on the glow again and set the glow radius to 500. Then the glow intensity to 0.5. Then you can drag down the glow to a little bit. So now you get a little bit more detail back. It's gonna look something like this for a moment. Very, very clean. You guys can stop here if you guys like the more high quality kind of, uh, yeah, positive poison effect. But I'm going to yeah, decrease the quality with some other effects, which I think looks better. So to do that, I'm going to be adding JPEG damage. And here I'm going to set the qualities to 0 0.25 this is the difference here it's going to make it a little bit more low quality there after that add the curves here i'm going to be adjusting it a little bit more so i'm going to be increasing the brightness here 
then go to red, increase that one, something like that. And then green, drag it down. After that, I'm going to be adding noise. Set the amount of noise to 25. Then add mosaic. I'm going to set the uh, horizontal and vertical blocks to 1000. So you guys can see it's going to decrease the quality a little bit here. With this tiny touch. After that, I'm going to be adding fast box blur. I'm going to increase the blur radius to 1. And then add unsharp mask. Set the amount to 200. And then the radius to 5. And then add a post rise time. And I'm going to drag it down to 12 just to get that like super laggy kind of poster look in my, in my opinion and this is the final result i'm really really satisfied with this look here it looks super super cool and it's a very very unique positive poison y2k kind of effect and if you guys like this effect and aesthetic don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and share this tutorial don't forget to check out my website editingvisuals.com where i have a bunch of editing packs just like this kind of effect there, not gonna lie. I have a poster poison preset pack, which is available on my website if you guys really like this aesthetic here. Also, don't forget to check out my socials, join my Discord server, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.